Okay everybody, we're going to try to figure out today what causes a bear shaft to rotate. Is it the twist of the string or is it the serving that's laid out on top of the string? So we're going to start out, I've got my bow here, I have a backup string uh, placed on it. This has been, looks a little rough, it's been riding around in the under the foam in one of my cases for uh, several months now. Um, but it, anyway, it is a clockwise twist with appropriately oriented serving on top. It's .014 power grip. You can see my, my loop and the tied knock points inside of it. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot with this. I'm going to clock this bear shaft. Um, see what way it rotates. Three different shots. A short, medium, and, and longer distance. The long distance is only about 17 feet. Um, then I'm going to remove the ser remove the loop, remove the serving, uh, reserve with the same serving diameter, all that, except I'm going to serve it backwards, so the incorrect direction for a clockwise string twist. And then we're going to shoot again, clock the bear shaft again, and see if it doesn't rotate the other direction. Now, a correctly served clockwise twisted string causes the bear shaft to rotate counterclockwise. So if it is the serving that's causing the rotation, then when we serve it backwards, we should see a clockwise rotation to the bear shaft. We'll see what happens. I've never done this. This is my, just a theory. Uh, I believe it's a serving, but we'll all find out together. Okay, that was three shots. The uh, bear shaft clocking uh, indicates that it is rotating counterclockwise. It has rotated a little bit more than 90 degrees in uh, about 17 feet here. So now I'm going to strip the serving off, reapply it uh, incorrectly for a clockwise string. So I'll be applying it in a counterclockwise direction. Um, now, if, if my theory holds, I'm expecting a clockwise bear shaft rotation um, once I've applied the serving backwards. So, we'll find out. Okay. Got it reserved. Got a new, uh, well, same loop, new knock points tied in or tied knock points. Uh, you can see I've got the uh, peep sight retied. I discovered some of the fuzz was actually because of a broken. I don't know if you can see a broken strand on the uh, string. Didn't really care did, about getting the peep in the same spot. I just don't want it to go flying. Um, hopefully the string will last uh, the three or four shots I'll need to do this. Uh, I haven't even drawn the bow back, so it's actually the uh, peep sight is oriented pretty straight uh, in relation to the D-loop. But again, I, I haven't draw the bo drawn the bow back. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't want the string to break on me, so I'm going to do this in as few shots as possible, and uh, we're going to get going. Here we go. Short shot. Yeah. Peep side is definitely no longer straight, so I'll just kind of eyeball it. Well, there we go. Uh, the arrow obviously is rotating clockwise now, coming off of counterclockwise serving, even though the string twist direction, you can see it matches the cables. A little uglier because it's quite a bit older string, but uh, that is a clockwise string twist, counterclockwise serving, peep sight's all screwed up. Um, but we are getting now clockwise bear shaft rotation. So uh, this would indicate that it is the 
orientation of the serving and not the string twist direction that gives the bear shaft its natural quote unquote rotation. Try to duplicate it if you think I'm wrong. I'd love to see it.